But the strong winds posing more threats than loss of power tonight after a massive tree falls on a country road in Preston right on top of a car. Investigators say it crushed the vehicle, killing at least two people inside. Fox 13 News reporter Jennifer Lee joins us live from Fall City tonight with updates from the scene. What have we learned about the victims inside that car in this horrific accident? Hey, David. Yeah, we still don't know much because of how early it is in the investigation. We talked to the major earlier who was on scene and he said he took a moment of pause after seeing that the vehicle's trunk was full of pumpkins. About that time, I think it was very windy and rainy. Most peak wind gusts in the region were measured around three in the afternoon on Sunday, which is also when Major Rodney Chinnick says 911 calls started coming in for a massive tree that fell on a car. Some people were driving down the road like you or I might be when uh, they were victims of this terrible tragedy. This happened on Preston Fall City Road. <laughs> The King County Sheriff's Office is leading the investigation and says the tree snapped from higher ground up the bank. Having had a look at the car, I see two pumpkins in the back that probably need carving. And that makes me think that related somehow to the two victims in the car could be kids that are going to be impacted by this tragedy. Firefighters assisted crews with tree removal. They say the base of the tree measured eight feet around and six feet around the trunk towards the top. Because of the rain and the wind, you may have trees that were weakened that could still come down. So I would urge everybody to consider staying home. All in hopes of preventing another tragedy. And my heart goes out to the families and especially to the little kids. So we're on Preston Falls City Road, and I just want to point out that back there is where that huge tree fell on the road. Those tree contractors cleaned it up, and they have since left. We also saw the medical examiner come and, come and go, and we did reach out to the spokesperson for King County Sheriff's Office. They were unsure if it was two victims, but have since confirmed that two people have died after that tree fell on that vehicle. And what you're seeing back there is actually continued work that is happening because of damage that is left over from that storm. We'll continue following this investigation and all the storm damage and bring you updates on Fox13Seattle.com. For now, reporting live in King County, Jennifer Lee, Fox 13 News.